Greetings tubers. Welcome back to my fledgling channel. Now <clears throat> I've got a spare half hour so I thought I'd just do something a bit quick and share some of the hilariously idiotic comments that have started to sort of creep down into my Wi-Fi. Now when I first started to um, put videos out um, about sort of flat earth and, and conspiracies and, and stuff like that, um, well saying that, I mean I've only done three, two flat earth ones and a stone end one. Um, I was expecting that eventually some of these more prominent sort of flat earth nutters would, would sort of creep into the comments, but it's actually surprised me how quickly that they, they've they've turned up. You know, they've um, crept out from under their respective little hidey holes, probably because of all the sort of, you know, sweet crumbs of debunkitude that I've been leaving across the digital forest floor. Um, but I really did have no idea how how quickly these woo-woo merchants would uh, creep out and start sort of, you know, disseminating their uh, low IQ, mouth-breathing nonsense about the place. Um, so, let's have a quick peek. Now, what's been turning up in the comment section? Now, one of the first to appear was uh, a YouTuber by the name of Authentic Intent. And I'm sure that some of you will have come across Authentic Intent. Um, this is a an image of his... Uh, of his page, plenty of posts, um, good subscriber numbers, and he or she certainly might have intent, but whether it's all authentic or not, is that's uh, entirely debatable. Especially when they arrive unannounced on my channel with comments like this. Government and gravity are your god. You put them on an altar and you worship them. Brackets TV, close brackets. There is nothing they do that is wrong in your eyes. When they consider something to be false, you also fall in line dogmatically consider it false also. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. No different than a Christian. When your government God gets criticised by people like me, you defend them to your own demise. You trust in your science books, like some people trust in the Koran. You ignorantly and naively believe in things you cannot confirm yourself. Only when daddy government approves a story, you are then convinced in the narrative given to you by your prophets, BBC, NASA, the Queen and Einstein. Just the sort of confused, trope-ridden, paranoid stream of consciousness that one expects from people who believe despite lacking any proof whatsoever that we live on some kind of magical frisbee uh, anyway authentic intent has been in and out of the comment section quite a few times but there, there are others that we need to deal with um who's up next uh the truth 12 now I know I don't have the same experience uh, as some YouTubers um, in this crusade for reality, but I did learn very quickly that if someone has put the word truth in their account name, then it usually signifies the exact opposite. Um, philosophical truth might be subjective, but science will be right um, regardless of what those, um, or those who believe in it tend to think. So what did the Truth 12 have to say? Next time you make a Flat Earth Diss video, try not to wear a Flat Earth t-shirt, space comma. Hey, hey, I got one. Don't you just love the dome, space question mark. And Truth12 wasn't the only person who would draw such strange conclusions. This one from Die Breathing. <laughs> All right, Die. Love the dome shirt, lol. Now, this is absolutely classic proof that flat earth retards will only ever see what they want to see, not what is actually there. Um, the t-shirt that they're referring to is this one. Rest in peace, 2.5 inch floppy disks, uh, VHS videos and audio cassette tapes. They served as well. So, where to next? Now, this little gem from Zoom Truth. Glad you figured it all out. By the way, Santa Claus is not real. Sorry to ruin your day. More overuse of the word truth there. And I'm presuming that they are making some references to a belief in spherical Earth being akin to a belief in Santa Claus. Um, what a stupid country boy he is. Um, if there's no such thing as Santa, then where do all the presents come from? Now, a real gem from someone who is reasonably well-known in the comment section of other globe advocates, 
um, calling themselves Why You Are an Idiot. Um, 161 subscribers. <laughs> I've got more than you. <laughs> and now, considering the name of this channel presumes to inform others of their idiocy, uh, yet the channel content consists of an almost magical measure of idiocy itself. I can only assume that this person is control study for the Dunning-Kruger study group. So, what was their nugget of enlightenment? Your name is Thor, and you are a retard. Can I ask you a question? He knows history. What was Thor? Let's see if he knows, because you are using his name. Let's see if he knows, because you are using his name. What, you're going to nip off to, to Asgard or Midgard and, and ask Thor themselves, okay? Obviously, this comment was not written by an English professor, um, but let's presume he meant... Did I know who Thor was? Um, yes, I know who Thor was. Um, in the great pantheon of Nordic gods, Thor was the, the god of thunder. He was the god of the sky, of agriculture. He was the protector of humanity. Um, husband of Sif, father of uh, Mogi and Trud, or Thuthor, as, uh, as his daughter was sometimes called. Um, he was killed at the time of Ragnarok, during the Twilight of the Gods, by the Midgard serpent Jormungandr. As a mouthful. Now, did such a biography of this mythical deity satisfy why you are an idiot? No. Because why you are an idiot seems to be quite convinced that they have the answer to who Thor actually was. Thor was a giant, one of the children of the fallen angels who died during the Battle of Ragnarok. You have the name of one of the children of Satan. Have fun with that, lol. Oh, and Ragnarok already happened. And it was easy to prove. Start at 13 mins. Use the timestamps. I show physical evidence for most of what I say. So watch it. There you go. I've got the name of one of the children of Satan. Hail. Awesome. Now, does Why You Are an Idiot have some actual footage of Ragnarok, I wonder? No. I took a look at the video in the link, and there is some seriously messed up quasi-religious religious soup of disparate ideologies uh, from half a dozen religions all pulled together in some completely mentally unbalanced, nonsensical way. Like this little snippet, um, claiming to have proof of giant prehistoric trees uh, that doubled the air pressure of Earth back in the day, and it enabled dinosaurs to breathe. I've no doubt that we have not seen the last of Why You Are an Idiot's inane rantings. So, let's wind up this little adventure. I did say it was going to be short, and if, if I've learned one thing, it's that my previous videos have probably been too long. So I am going to cut them down um, in the future. Um, sort of 15, 20 minutes, probably a bit too much, but uh, being Welsh, I do have a liking to talk, and sometimes my mouth runs away with me. But we'll keep this one short, right? So let's wind up this, this little adventure through the insane ramblings of the Flat Earth and conspiracy uh, community with a few comments from this delightful individual, Mr. Chris West. So, the cause of gravity is neither observable or repeatable. Now, being as the cause of gravity is any substance with mass, then we can observe the cause. Um, is the cause repeatable? That doesn't really make any sense. So let's presume he meant, is the effect repeatable? And the answer is, yes, it is. And what happens when their idiocy is pointed out to them? Thor is belittling people with a differing opinion. I think he's fair game. Now, this needed a personal response. And so I... Just pop this into the comment section. You're damn right I'm belittling people who claim a belief in the flat earth because they're either ill or stoned. 
Even with the amount of physics knowledge I've retained from my A-levels over 30 years ago, I can still tie knots in any flat earth theory in about four seconds. Anyone with half a brain could do likewise. And if anyone thinks they can belittle me, they can bring it. Now, I know enough about physics to know that I don't know a great deal about physics. But I do know that what knowledge I have can tear the guts out of any flurfer's argument in very short order. Um, Mr Chris West then changes tack um, with this particularly sort of standard flurfer question. So, how is Chicago visible across Lake Michigan if the Earth is a globe? Now, anybody who's looked into this flat earthing for more than, you know, 10 minutes will have come across the photograph of Chicago that was visible across Lake Michigan. I think at about, um, I can't remember, it was either 53 or 81 miles. I can't remember. Anyway, it's, there is a perfectly rational explanation, one that is very well known, and it's to do with not only the height above sea level of the observer and the observed um, tower blocks, but it's also to do with refraction. Um, warmer air over cold water causes light to refract, sometimes by as much as 20%. Um, so after this detailed explanation recounting the various causes for it and pointing out the blunt tool that is the globe curve calculator, for it, it presumes the Earth to be a, a perfectly smooth sphere, which of course it's not, um, his response again is a pretty standard offering uh, from the Frisbee camp. So denying repeatable and observable realities, using refraction as an excuse is indoctrination at its best. Now, with Chris West having such a, a profound knowledge of whatever hidden reality he thinks he knows about, one might expect him to be um, a very large fish in the murky waters of the flat earth world. Um, I'm sure there must be thousands of subscribers to his channel waiting in ecstasy of anticipation for his next addition to the vast library of truth available on his YouTube channel. I'm sure that there are people fighting to click his subscribe button and to comment or to follow him and adore him. Is that the case? Chris West. He hasn't got any friends. <gasps> what a sad day. Anyway, I think I'll get over it. Um, I might even go and subscribe to his channel myself. At least then he'll have one friend to talk to, even if it's a friend that doesn't agree with him and can tear his argument apart at the drop of a hat. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll have another video coming out, um, looking at some other conspiracy theory in the next couple of days. Um, it should have been out today, but I've had some slight problems with my video, edit video editing software. Um, terrible business, let's not talk about it. Um, if you like the look of the channel, please do press that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, and please do comment. Pro or con comments, I really don't mind. All comments are good comments. And so... Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll catch you soon.